morning everyone. It's a grotty one in Hove today. A little bit rainy. Not that, not that nice. Um, firstly, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Woohoo! I, um, I, I did a little uh, post on uh, Instagram and, um, and Facebook. Just, uh, yeah, it's the first time I've advertised my YouTube channel and I've got, I think I've doubled, doubled what I had. I had 13, I think, at the time. And yeah, I'm up to like 26 or something now, or 27, something like that. So thank you guys. Um, really appreciate it. And uh, like I say, it's, it's, it's just a bit of fun. What I'm doing, it's just a bit of fun, nothing serious. I'm never gonna show any anything that, um, you know, that, that compromises anybody's security. I, I'm not into all of that. I know some guys do. Some guys show how to gain entry to locks and all of that, which is fine, which is actually great. I love watching all that, but um, yeah, I, I know some people don't like it and get funny about it. So I don't want any controversial comments or anything like that. I'm just, it's just me doing my work. And you know, like I said, I'm just not gonna get into any of, any, any of that. But um, anyway, I'm on my way to a job in Southwick, which is, um, which is 10 minutes from where I live. Uh, a guy's called to say that he's not able to lock his door. He's got a UPVC door. In one mile, bear right onto Appleshot Way. I'm getting used to her now. Used to annoy me when she butted in. Um, but yeah, I'm getting used to her. Red light and speed camera ahead. Thank you, darling. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go there. Uh, from what he, from what he's told me uh, on the phone, it sounds like he's gonna need a new gearbox on the mechanism. So, and I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to record it uh, and just show you guys what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, see you there. Right, here we are guys, so this is the job. Um, yeah, it's a Miele Master. So, I'm um, pretty sure I've got one of these gearboxes in stock. So, let's just add it. Uh, it's just not, it's just not working. So, it seems there's a bit temperamental as saying it's been like it for a little while. So I'm going to chuck him in the cylinder as well and around to snap the cylinder. And the springs from the handle are pretty shot to bits. So um, we're going to stick him some new springs in there, stop that from being floppy. Right, let's get this, let's get this mechanism out and we can make a start. Handle off of this um, because we're gonna have to use a snap on it. That cylinder's just not, it's not turning at all, so we're gonna have to use a snap on that, which is here. Um, yeah, just stick the cylinder out and then uh, we can get the, uh, let me get the mechanism out of there. Without that cylinder out, I can't get the mechanism out. Right, there we go. So that's that. Snapped out there. You see, the inside's still there at the moment. I should just pull out and then try and get this screw out, which is the retaining screw. I should just should just there we go. And then what we left in there, yeah, the can's still in there, so. It. Cylinders out. So now we can get the mechanism off, get the gearbox change over. Start unscrewing all these screws out. This mechanism. star screws on here so there's uh, one there one there and one there so we undo them 
get this gearbox off and then uh, get it swapped over, put it back in. For those that have seen my vans or you've seen this box before, this is all my gearboxes. Um, but this particular gearbox, so as you can see, I've got, I've got four of them because they're the most common. There's also a 45mm backset one there, this is a 35mm. Um, so, That's our replacement gearbox. So we've got to undo the screws on this, get that one screwed on, job done. As you can see, the actual um, the latches are on the wrong side on this one, but they're, they're, you can reverse them. So all I've got to do is undo that screw there, spin this one around to match that side, which I'll do now. Right, there we go. So that's the, the new gearbox, that's the old one. Uh, so let's. Uh, is working now, lovely. And these are working great. And the bottom ones, yeah, all working. That's lovely. Right, that's done. So we've just got to get this back in. Uh, new cylinder, and I might see if the guy wants some new handles because we're changing the springs in the old ones anyway. But I've actually just found a set in my van, brand new, that look the right size. So give him the option. Right, let's go. Cylinder, uh, 40, 50. There we go. Anti snap, five keys. Beautiful. Right, okay, so back in. Catch is working lovely. Four of them. Mushrooms. So I just spoke to the customer and he's happy to change the handles as well. So we're going to put brand new handles out rather than just changing the sets. Because um, although there's, there's, other than the, the spring cassettes that, that were snapped inside here, there's nothing wrong with the handles. They work, but they're just a bit old and weather beaten now. So we're going to change them as well. So let's give this one a test. Nice. A little bit of movement. I might just adjust that the latch. So, oops. Yep, lovely. Yes, I might just adjust the latch here and take it in a little bit because it's just a tiny bit of movement here. There we go, guys. So I've just literally just adjusted that latch and taken it in a little bit, and that's taken all the movement out of that door. Shutting lovely, actually. That's it, that's this one done. I'll just put a little pin tag on. And uh, just ask what I do just before I actually um, give the door a bit of a clean up with the uh, big wipes. Um, I always just give it a go with a bit of GT85, just over the mechanism. Might just uh, help protect that strip a little bit. And little keeps down here. Clean up with the big wipes, tools back in the van, and then we're out there. There we go, guys. Um, I'm now on my way to see a friend up in Hassocks. Um, that's probably me for the day, to be fair. I'm not going to do any more jobs because I've got my niece's wedding a little bit later which is nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and see a friend in Hassocks and then that'll be me done. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, again, um, you know, please, please like and comment, any nice comments put in the, in, in the comment section below. Uh, you can tell I'm doing to this, can't you? <laughs> um, yeah, please subscribe as well. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. Um, 
I know people like my mum would think, oh, I ain't paying anything to, to, to watch these. But uh, yeah, you don't pay to subscribe, so please, yeah, just click on that. And then uh, if you hit the bell as well, it uh, send you a notification when I've done a new video. Right, thanks a lot, guys. See you on the next one.